I recently had the chance to sit down and talk with Carson McMillan, captain of the Idaho Steelheads. Let's take a look at his story. You know, our voice is filmed downtown here in Boise at the CenturyLink Arena, which is also home to the Idaho Steelheads. We're really thrilled today to be having Carson McMillan joining us, who is the team captain of the Idaho Steelheads. So Carson, thank you so much for joining us and giving us some of your time. Thanks for having me. So you know, there's some of the kind of iconic uh, thoughts we have about hockey that I have to ask you about. So the penalty box for, for sure to start with. So do you spend a lot of time in the penalty box? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes you get in a, a tussle or take a penalty and the last thing you want to do is be in there and <laughs> it's just part of the game. There's lots of penalties just part and of the game, both yeah. teams and that's how it is. So when you're in there, is it usually like a two minute penalty or what's the length of time? Most of the time it's two minutes. Two and, minutes. Yeah. Does that seem like a really long time when you're just wanting to get back into the game? Yeah, you're just praying that the other team doesn't score, yeah. doesn't score on you. So yeah. it's, uh, it's not very fun, but you can take someone in there with you. It's not as bad. Take someone with you. There yeah. you go. I'm wondering, Carson, I'd like to see the locker room. I'm sure our viewers would like to see the locker room. So would that be possible? Of course. Let's do it. Okay. It's really neat that we can show our viewers this. So this is the area where you all get ready for the game. So where is, is your stall? Right here. Okay, Carson McMillan, here we go. So yep. tell me a little bit about what you do to actually get ready for a game and how long it takes you to get all of this gear on. Sometimes it takes guys five minutes. Sometimes for me, I like to slowly get dressed. So yeah. I get dressed a little earlier than guys. So I know you've played hockey for seven years in the pros, which is awesome. Now you're playing for the Steelhead. So tell me a little bit about some of the strengths that you see in this team that you're with now. I think we all get along very well. Everyone jokes around and you know has fun with each other. And when it comes down to, uh, to working and being ready for games, guys are, uh, guys are ready. Guys are excited to, to work for each other and, uh, it's fun. But I do want to end our interview, our time together, just with one final question. And that's, you know, as you look over hockey, which really stems back well over 20 years for you when mm -hmm. you were a little boy in Canada, you know, what's one kind of life lesson you can share with us that you've really gotten out of being a part of hockey for all these years? Yeah, um, I think it was taught to me as a young, as a young kid from my parents um, that, you know, don't have to be the best player, but you know, at least be the hardest working. Doesn't matter where I am, where I play, I just you know, always gotta make sure I work hard. That's great, that's great. Well, thank you so much for your time. I hope you've enjoyed I have. spending some time with us. We've enjoyed spending a lot of time with you. Oh my gosh, that looks so fun, Kim. So what was, would you say your takeaway talking to Carson? Well, first of all, he is a super great guy. And I was really struck by the fact that he came into the team new and became the captain and immediately just really stepped up to leadership, learned the guy's strengths, learned how to encourage them, and is just a really great leader. He's like the daddy to the Steelheads. I actually told him at the end, I said, you're going to be a great father someday. Aww. Yeah.